We are currently on question 25. On question 25, this is a question that deals with indices. And we have evaluate 27 raised to the power of 1 over 3 minus 8 raised to the power of 2 over 3 all over 16 raised to the power of 2 over 4 times 2. Now, 27 can be reduced to its simplest index form as 3 all raised to the power of 3. 8 can be reduced to its simplest index form as 2 raised to the power of 3. 16 can be reduced to as 2 raised to the power of 4. So basically, this question can be written as 3 raised to the power of 3 all raised to the power of 1 over 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 3 into brackets 2 over 3 all over 2 raised to the power of 4 into brackets that will be the same thing as 2 raised to the power of 4 all in brackets all raised to the power of 2 over 4 times 2 then this gives me 3 raised to the power of 3 times 1 over 3 so basically how does that work in indices you need to recall that if I have the base of a number raised to a given power p and you have an external power outside the bracket this is a question that deals with multiple powers you have a multiple power you have an external power when you have multiple powers you simply multiply the powers that will be b raised to the power of p times k so basically this would give me 3 raised to the power of 3 times 1 over 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 3 times 2 over 3 all over 2 raised to the power of 4 times 2 over 4 times 2. So basically this reduces to 3 raised to the power of 1 minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Since 3 cancels out 3, 3 cancels out 3 here, 4 cancels out 4 here. So I'm basically going to have 2 raised to the power of 2 times 2. And this becomes 3 raised to the power of 1 is 3. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4, 3 minus 4, all over 4 times 2. So that gives me minus 1 all over 8. Now scanning through the options, scanning through the options would have minus 1 all over 8. And the correct answer is minus 1 over 8. Did you enjoy the video? Get a prep class tutor today. Call 080-59-811-502 or 90